Hi, this is Mr. Payton. Welcome to the Science of Everything, Episode 4. Now that we've gotten a little bit into the school year, I want to talk to us a little bit about goal setting from two different perspectives. The first perspective is the closed mindset, and the second will be the open mindset. This comes from research done by Dr. Carol Dweck in her book called Mindset. And for me, it was a transformative thing to read because it challenged everything I thought about in terms of the level of achievement I had as a young person and how I look at students now. In the closed mindset, we focus on grades, achievements, scholarships, um, all of the different awards and accolades that come along with being a successful person and reaching goals. In the open mindset, we're looking more towards growth and looking at trying to consistently challenge ourselves. Now, I'm not here to say that one is better than the other. Anybody who has my class knows that I'm always trying to challenge you to find out what's going to work out best for you. So let's start with the closed mindset. For a long time, I had the closed mindset. When I was a young person, I got all A's all the time. I got my first B in eighth grade. And then I got to high school and just got completely disillusioned with grades at some point. But it took me all the way until my last two or three years in college where I said, okay, I guess I'll get good grades again. But for me, I actually thought it was an option because I just, it kind of lost its, its fervor for me. So in the three classes that I teach now, I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and I teach them two subjects, science and social studies. I've taken to calling it natural science and social science. One of the reasons why I wanted to change that vocabulary is because I wanted to change the mindset of my students. My challenge is to get them to take this older information that's been researched, studied, and present it to a number of people and try to connect it to what's going on now. So all of my lessons are geared towards reading what's been done before and trying to see if we can find a way to innovate moving forward. In this open mindset, <coughs> excuse me, we're looking to challenge ourselves, not so much focused on the grade that we're going to get, but trying to push ourselves through a deeper level of research, um, a stronger ability to solve problems and extend our ability to communicate, whether it's through writing, through oral presentations or through visual presentations. So as I move forward with social science, for example, we've been talking a lot about um, amendments, the Constitution and how we think our government should work. In a closed mindset, we would simply say, you know what, some of these rules work and some of them don't. In an open mindset, we would be looking at trying to understand why those rules were made, why these amendments were presented at that time, and to try to examine if those amendments still speak to where we are in the world today. Moving into natural science, we're covering a lot of different things, everything from energy to weather to cells. And again, the closed mindset would say, Let's learn the vocabulary. Let's figure out what, what other things we need to know. Let's write those down, document it, done, end of lesson. With the open mindset, we're trying to figure out why is there any value to what it is that we're learning. And so as we move through the year, what I hope to share with my students is that there, are, there is more than one way to approach how we learn. Obviously, if I'm a teacher, I see some value and how things are graded and the scores that you receive, because obviously we're trying to get to the next level, high school, some of us college, some of us are going to own businesses. And so grades are one metric of how we can determine if someone is doing well. But I'm here to also present the idea that if we acquire new skills and if we can increase a deeper learning, then that's a metric, metric that we should consider as well. So to close this up, I want my students and parents to consider the fact that grades are extremely important, but we should also be pushing for a deeper level of knowledge, understanding, and then 
a better ability to communicate that information back to parents, peers, or to share with the world. I hope this was of value. Hope everybody has a great day.